I want to do a very quick uh, benchmark speed test here between some of the best friends on the market right now uh, in terms of uh, what they bring to the table, like the specs, etc. Uh, so we do have the Mate 10 Pro, the iPhone 8 Plus, uh, OnePlus 5T, the Note 8 and uh, the Xiaomi Mix 2. I haven't really made many videos on that actually, so uh, looking forward to see what it can do here. And we're going to just start some call at the same time if we can. I uh, haven't done this for a while, so... Uh, we will try here. Uh, so, three, two, is this the big speed button? I think this is the power button. So, three, two, one, let's go. Might have worked. Somehow, three sneaked onto my Mate 10 Pro. I don't exactly know how, but wow, you can see Mi Mix 2 coming on first. Wow, and I think it's also the cheapest device here in terms of the price, so that is quite nice. Uh, the others I didn't actually see, they all seem to come on at the same time. So with the uh, Note, we are getting the Exynos model here uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, we get the Apple A11 Bionic in the, the iPhone, uh, looking very Christmassy as you can see on all of them. Uh, so what benchmark can we run first? We can just have a look at the uh, Geekbench here. Let's see how they do compare. Uh, I think uh, they're all running the most up-to-date software as well. So that's iOS 11.2.1. Let's get uh, the latest uh, Oxygen OS here on the OnePlus 5T as well. Just had an update for that. Uh, the Note is still running Nugget, I think. This is what you do get with Samsung slow updates, unfortunately. Uh, but it's a very nice hardware. So we're just going to bump the brightness up here with this one. So you can see, uh, in terms of the uh, actual specs here, they're quite similar, really. Some give you 6 gigs of RAM, others like the iPhone they give you 3 gigs of RAM. But you know they have good optimization here on the iPhone. So we just run this. Interesting to see how the Kirin 970 does uh, stack up here. The iPhone has uh, led the way as usual. Uh, the score just seems to be getting higher and higher with each release of iOS. You can see uh, even the new Snapdragon 845 benchmark, which I saw recently, is nowhere near uh, what uh, the iPhone does give you in terms of the raw benchmark. So, you know, Qualcomm's really behind here, uh, if you ask me. But I think uh, you can see in day-to-day -day performance, you don't really notice too much of a difference, but there are people who do care about benchmarks at the same time, so that is something to consider. In terms of your Android, it looks like uh, we have like neck and neck here, even though I didn't really start them all at the same time. Uh, all of them seem to be pretty similar. I do notice from the screens, the Mate 10 Pro goes for a cooler approach, a bit more bluish compared to the warmer approach on the Note uh, screen, just from my angle. Uh, the Kirin processor seems to be doing very well though, I've got to say, because usually the Kirin processor is a little bit behind the flagship level Exynos or Qualcomm. Uh, in terms of the benchmark, it does seem to be a little bit behind, if we're going to be honest. Exynos seems to be the best here still uh, in late 2017. Uh, and in terms of OnePlus 5T, it looks like it's a little bit better than your Xiaomi Mix 2, uh, but not by much really. But uh, solid score, you've got to say, you know, solid score indeed, but, uh, you know, you can have all the AI technology in the world, but if it's not up there with the best, then, you know, that says a bit of a shame. Uh, we're just going to have a look at the uh, Wi-Fi as well, so we can see uh, how fast the Wi-Fi is. And uh, we can just go on here. So I'm just going to check the server is correct here. <laughs> Uh, that's not exactly the correct server, is it? Let's just be honest. I don't know how it's got... Uh, that's weird. So for some strange reason, it doesn't seem to pick up uh, local servers on the Mate 10 Pro, even though I've got the region set to, you know, the UK, etc. I've tried reinstalling the app as well, uh, but you can see only foreign servers, so, you know, that uh, is quite weird, but we're just going to have to roll with it, because uh, I don't have time to fix something like that. Uh, we're going to see what it does, nevertheless. It's on the 5G Wi-Fi. So 
So do take uh, the score with a bit of a grain of salt. I think it's done pretty well, you know, considering how far away the server is. It's done very well indeed, actually. Maybe it's just some sort of bug. I have noticed quite a few bugs with the Mate 10 Pro in terms of the camera. So hopefully they'll fix that. And you can see iPhone is uh, very good here. Better ping and slightly, or um, well, about the same for the upload, pretty much worse. So that uh, is quite interesting. One plus five T. Which likes Manchester. But it's definitely on the right one today. Can't quite meet the iPhone, unfortunately. Uh, it's half the price though, so we'll give it a pass. Very good upload. Note 8. Expect the best here. Most expensive phone on the table. But no, can't, can't meet the iPhone or the OnePlus. Wow, you can see here that uh, is quite a shame. Expecting better there. And Mix 2. Cheapest phone on the table. What can you do? It can certainly do pretty well. So just... Uh, so it's not done that well actually. Uh, it's actually done pretty much the worst except for the Mate 10 Pro which I'm not going to criticise too much which did pretty well considering how far the server was. Although it's pretty good though, overall. Uh, but we're very surprised actually that the uh, Note 8 didn't perform quite as well as I was expecting. But props where props is due for the iPhone, uh, which just works, you know, it uh, doesn't have any issues here. Uh, so obviously, uh, you know, benchmarks aren't everything. We should also have a look at the uh, what they bring to the table and other aspects. So with the Mate 10 Pro, you are getting this uh, leak uh, uh, sensor, which I have actually been out and about and checked it out. Pretty good performance, I definitely think it's a step above what you're going to get with the, the 5T and the Mix 2. Uh, is it, uh, you know, 300 euro more worth it? You know, it's tough to say. I think for most people, the camera on this and this will do the job, especially the Mix 2 seems to have been a massive improvement compared to the last one. Uh, but I think the main differentiator now between the budget phone and the flagship phone is the camera. At the end of the day, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, so that's just uh, what I'm thinking. But I will do some videos checking out the camera with the uh, Mate 10 Pro. So do stay tuned for that. Hope you find this video helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.